We're done with the appointment and Braley's now at the day center and uh, it turns out we uh, were wrong. And already a new vlog starting. I just ended one, now I'm starting a new one. Same day. I usually don't do that. We picked up Braley from the center today and they said she was digging in her mouth a lot and they tried putting band-aids over her fingers to see if that would really stop her from doing it but she started using other fingers. She was really, really determined on getting in there and they said that it was bleeding. They couldn't tell if it was the cheek or gum. And then this evening, I finally got her laid down and I put a flashlight in her mouth and had her open and looked in there. And it looks like she's missing a cap. So we're gonna go ahead and call after hours emergency dental line and see what they say. We also have the issue that right now she's running a low grade fever. So we're gonna call them and see what they have to say. So this, where this gets a little tricky is Braley does not do well at the dentist. We have to do sedation dentistry with her. So this will be an interesting night. We'll see what the doctor dentist says. I am about to make a phone call if I can find my phone. Our office is closed at this time. If this is a dental emergency, press nine now. Otherwise. Hi, my name is Dave. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was the the back, the far back on the top right that came off. Yeah. She hasn't been eating as much. It did happen around lunchtime, we think. Yeah, she was at uh, the day center when they thought yeah. her cheek was just bleeding. Because she, she just kept picking in her mouth. Bad chair. Leapfrog. Play-Doh. Kinetic sand. Coloring. Bad chair. Waterbed. Yeah. Got a call back from the, the dentist. And so we're going to see the dentist tomorrow morning. And hopefully it won't be as bad as the last time. They did say they follow the parents' cue, and if at any point we're like, "This is that's we can't go any farther," then they're done. It's tough. Know how we can tell she has a fever? Her cheeks. Her cheeks right, turn yeah. red whenever she has a fever. So it's like hey. it's an indicator for us that she's not feeling good. The the red cheeks. It's good to know when she isn't feeling good, like, so we know. She can't tell us, but we can see. Brother, we're gonna go to the dentist, and they're gonna open up your mouth. Uh, ah! Really wide. They're gonna That's put a open. thing in there. They're gonna put a thing so it keeps your mouth open. It might be tough when I have to hold you down. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be funny. We are now in the morning. Really ready for this? We still have some time to, before our appointment, so we're just, we're just chilling this morning. They said it's gonna take five to ten minutes. That is a very, very long time. When we, when we did the cleaning, the when we had the one of the worst. Yeah, it was just not a good day. That I think was under five minutes before we stopped. So yeah, she won't stop picking at it. So it has to be done. And it's not until January is when we can actually do this at dentist appointment. Or the sedation. They said that we could wait. The risk is much higher waiting. So, in two months is a very long time for her to pick at that. At least try today. If it doesn't work out, then we'll wait, but we'll try to push through it. This morning, the routine is not happening. It's funny that we talked about routines yesterday and how sometimes they change. Today is definitely a day it's changing, so this is a good thing that she's not completely rigid in a schedule right now because that would just add to today. It's happened before. We've expected the worst and have been pleasantly surprised. Let's hope today one of those days. Braley is very strong. She is a tough little girl. 
we'll let you know how it goes. Let me know your guys' dental stories. Really? Maybe this will help today. The snowflakes. Snowflake, snowflake, little snowflake. That's great because she wasn't by the by the window. I went downstairs to get her and I told her, it's snowing, it's snowing. And I didn't direct her up the stairs at all. She just came up the stairs flapping her hands and went to the window. She knew exactly what I was saying. It's not supposed to snow that much, so. We're supposed to get a Thanksgiving snowstorm though. It's possible we have a Thanksgiving snowstorm. We'll see what happens. It's snowing. We're done with the appointment and Bradley's now at the day center and uh, it turns out we uh, were wrong because there is no cap missing in any of Bradley's teeth. What it was is actually a new molar coming in. <laughs> so we we thought we were all worried about it and look at look at that. Now we yeah, it's a pleasant surprise. A little embarrassing, yes, because we went in and they were able to look at Braley's teeth and they're like, uh, you're, she's not missing any crowns. She does have a new tooth in there. But either way, better, better safe than not safe. So it was a little alarming for us just because we can't really see into her mouth very well. She's not, she doesn't really let us look in there very much. And especially like back into her back teeth. So uh, we don't see them that often. Cause we, we knew that all of her back teeth have silver on them. They all have caps. And so seeing one that was white and it looked like it was broken. Yeah, just a new tooth coming in. I am happy that we went in because Braley did get to experience a dentist appointment that wasn't very invasive. I mean, she did struggle with her them putting the mirror thing in her mouth. Like, she did not want any part of that. So it wasn't that bad because she didn't need... She didn't need the heavy restraint. She didn't fight back. It was a lot better than what we were expecting going in. Everything's good. Everything is good. And Braley's back. So we're back home, Braley's back, and she actually had a really good day. I'm glad we sent her. Right, no, it's just the tooth coming in, so, and the, the low grade fever was already gone. We all make which the, the dentist did say that low grade fever can come from the tooth coming in. So, how was her day? showed me a video when I picked her up of her standing in front of the one-way mirror glass making faces at herself with a really wide open mouth trying to look in her mouth and see what was going on and they said it was super funny. Um, she isn't eating a whole lot for what's normal for her and I'm sure it's because it's hurting her. She's been only eating a few things, mac and cheese always. Mac and cheese! Up -tum, up -tum, up -tum. <laughs> Good job. She got through a lot of programs today. Good stuff. We're gonna end the vlog here because we're actually gonna have our first respite evening. Yeah. So we're taking the bus places. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today and we will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful evening. So we were, are just keeping our February, February, we're just keeping our February, we're just keeping our February appointment. I can't say that word very well. We're just keeping our February appointment. Did I say it right that time?